This first comic coming to the stage, she's hilarious. You guys are gonna love her. Put your hands together for Monica Neffy. <laughs>
It's like to go out, walk around, do things. Uh, I also found out though that I do not like to talk to people when I'm high. Uh, I found that out because I don't know if you know, but oh my God, I'm too high to talk to you. Uh, is not the proper response. When they ask you what you want at Starbucks. It's tough being an adult or whatever I'm pretending to do. And I dwell on things. I don't know if you guys do that. You kind of play the what if game. You know, what if I didn't spend all that money? What if we didn't break up? What if when Sleeping Beauty woke up from her coma nap and saw Prince Charming, she was like, whoa, hey, I like black guys. <laughs> Seattle, Washington, originally. Thank you. Yeah, the Seahawks or whatever. <laughs> I didn't realize dating there was weird until I had gone to other parts of the country, right? Like, I used to date a guy, and his idea of us spending time together was to each bring our own books to a coffee shop and then read them there separately. <laughs> it's weird. But dating's about compromise, so I let him do what he wanted to do then so that I could do what I wanted to do later. Uh, and what I wanted to do was not date him. <laughs> that worked out. I just think that's very soft, right? People can be too aggressive, too. I was walking downtown Seattle, and a guy yelled at me all the way across the street. He yelled at me. He said, hey, girl, I see that nice ass. The things I would do to you, he said. So now I have two options. I can either find out what he'll do to me. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> or I can be aggressive back, uh, which is what I chose to do. So I said, hey boy, I see those nice arms. The things I would make you move. <laughs> That was the end of that, so we're done. <laughs> like, we get it, right? Like, we've all had our bodies for a long time. We know what gets attention and what doesn't, right? My butt has always gotten more attention than anything else, but she's always been there. She's always had my back. <laughs> she is the Marsha of this Brady Bunch. <laughs> I think you should like all of yourself, and I do. I like the rest of the Brady Bunch, too. Bobby and Cindy, I like them too. <laughs> Call them that because they're the same age but different sizes. <laughs> my humor and my sarcasm uh, are definitely the reason that I'm single. Uh, I'll give you an example, I was sitting at a bar the other day by myself, because uh, I was waiting for a friend. But I don't have any. <laughs> and the guy came up to me and he was like, oh, I noticed you across the bar. I was wondering if I could buy you a drink. And I went, oh, wow. So that was good. That was really good. And I'm going to give you an A for that. I'm going to give you an A for absolutely not. Because I thought it was funny. Yeah. He didn't think it was funny and he said, well, I'm going to give you a B because you're a bitch. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's better than a C. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm Monica. Thank you for this show. Monica Gabby.